Ethan. Ethan. Huh? Ah! Come on. Wake up, little brother. This is the day you become a man, Ethan. Can't have you wasting it in bed. Uh, Kai? Artur? Happy birthday, Ethan. Sincerely. Thanks, Kai. I think. Nervous on the cusp of your first tournament? Um, no. No, not at all. You're not a very convincing liar, little brother. The barges depart for the tournament aisle in the afternoon. You've a lot to do before then. The armorsmith is expecting you. Don't keep him waiting, Ethan. And you won't be late to the docks, right? Skink? Your boy's a little wet. Ethan, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop them. It's all right, only a little water. My brothers were just having some fun. Still, they didn't need to. Sometimes they don't think about the things they do. My best wishes on your birthday, of course. Twenty-one already, hmm? It hardly seems the years could have passed so quickly. Your blue tunic? That's fine. Thanks. It's understandable to be nervous. Your first combat in, in front of so many. Your mother's quite worried, you know. Of course she's worried. She's my mother. It's what she does. She has good reason. There's something you need to know about the tournament. Your father is supposed to tell you, but... Is that someone new? There, with the tray. Ethan, please, this is important. Now you're beginning to sound like my mother, Skink. Open. Sub-basement forge. I've been training. You'll be there with me. I'm not worried. Much. Maybe you should be. What's that supposed to mean? Smith? Hello? Ethan, look at you, all grown up now. I used to shoo you away from my furnaces when you were knee-high to skink there. Come by just for a visit, have you? Well, actually, I was, you know, hoping my things were... Hoping they were ready? <laughs> Wouldn't do to disappoint the prince on his birthday, would it? A warrior's tournament blade and armor are among his most precious possessions, Ethan. So don't go off and shatter this, hmm? It's wonderful. Isn't it? The design's based on the blade of your ancestor, Edvin. You know his tale, yes? One of the two survivors who fought to a draw in what would become the Tournament Isle? I thought it was appropriate, you being born on the anniversary of that day. You'll need these two. One for your shield, to press the stud to generate it, and the other for your armor. They fit properly? Perfectly. They're... Pardon, sir. But I seem to have misplaced my son. I could swear he was a little boy, about so high, but all I find is a strapping young man. I wonder if you could tell me what happened to him. Happy birthday, Ethan. Father, did you see? A beautiful blade. The smith's outdone himself. I hope it's a lucky blade, too. Especially if you're still committed to using him as your second. A member of the lesser races, Ethan, and court jester at that. It's simply not done. Skink's taken care of me my whole life. He'll take care of me in the arena. Your youngest son's a man now, Dane. Old enough to make his own decisions. Even if one of those decisions is to take part in that barbaric tournament. This again, Mariella? Hello, Mother Elena. Majesty. Happy birthday, dear. Thanks. From me as well. Have you at least told him? Maybe he'll see reason. The tournament's existed for centuries. That you don't approve of it doesn't change the fact that it keeps the peace between us and our neighbors to the east. Avalon hasn't known true warfare since ritual combat began. And our family has always had a role in it. Ethan, I'm proud you want to carry on our tradition, but your mother's right. It's only fair you know what awaits you. The tournament draw matches you against Braun. I don't have to tell you his reputation. He has beaten both your brothers in the past. But I'll support whatever decision you make. We all will. I'm not afraid of Braun. You've got a strong arm and a strong steel at your side, Ethan. Keep a head on your shoulders, and you'll keep a head on your shoulders. <laughs> I will.
I'll be fine. Mother, you shouldn't worry. This is what I need to do now that I'm a man. I won't let anything happen to him, Majesty. Expect to be held to that promise, Gink. We need to board the barges soon. Make whatever last preparations you need, and get to the docks. Ethan, wait. I have something for you. Here. For luck. Calm down, Ethan. Your turn is coming soon. I'm just... I'm not scared, Skink. It's this... waiting. I feel like something's about to happen, and I... Physicians! We need physicians! His arm! It's nothing, Ethan. The gene splicers can heal almost any wound. <clears throat> <sighs> Boy, good luck. W what? Much lies ahead for you. Come along, Ethan. The waiting's over. You're ready. But who was... Don't concern yourself with it. Your opponent's waiting. Your family's watching from the noble box. Concentrate on what you must do. Oh. Combatants were dead to the circle. Combatants? Ethan, pay attention. Concentrate. Right, right. Combat to commence between Prince Ethan of the Heron Dynasty of the West. And Prince Braun of the Raven Dynasty of the East. Traditional rules of the tournament apply. Combat is to first blood of a yielding. Physicians may enter the circle at their discretion or when summoned. My decisions as Arbiter are final and binding. In the name of the survivors, may the peace be forever kept. Are the combatants and their seconds prepared? Yes. Yes. You may initiate your armor. Combat begins on my word. Ignite your blades. Your brothers were nothing. And fight! Yeah! Ah! You're less than your brother's boy. Cut him, run! Ah! How's my blade doing that? What did I? I... Skink! My sword just... What did I do? You won, Ethan. I won? I won! I... The wound is beyond our means to heal. He will be scarred. But that can't be. A weapon that would inflict an unhealable wound is illegal. You have violated the rules of the tournament. Worse, you have violated its spirit. Victory belongs to Braun. You are censored. No, there's nothing special about my sword. Ethan, your arm! What? What is it? Ethan, don't blame yourself. But I didn't. I swear, I never meant for this to happen. Braun, I'm sorry, let me... You've done enough, Kerr! Take him! Blood for blood, Western Wolf! Please, this isn't what I wanted! Treachery! Got the boy! The tenement is disgraced! Reap what you've sown, Prince! The Ravens will have revenge! It was a mistake! I didn't intend to scar him! Now's not the time for battle, Ethan. 
Skink, what have I started? Nothing you can stop. This riot will sort itself out, but you have to come away while you still can. Hurry! Skink, I dreamed about this day, how glorious everything would be. It's turned into a nightmare. It wasn't your fault, Ethan. Now hostilities between the dynasties will flare again. There might even be a war. Because of me! I think this played a part in what happened. And I don't even know what it is or where it came from. Ethan, understand. This wasn't anything you asked for. But what's done is done. And you must be prepared for the consequences. You mean about Braun? Or are you trying to tell me something more? <laughs> Braun! I'll have your life for this boy!